Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be starting chapter 2 from class 12 computer science book from MCRT and that is file handling in Python. Okay, so uh, let's first understand why is there a need to even, you know, work with files or to create files. So what actually happens is whenever you write a Python program and you create some variables in it, you assign some value, you calculate their values and so on. But as soon as you end the program, the variables are lost, their values are lost and there is no way of retaining them permanently as till as that we have studied till now. Okay, so a file is a solution to this problem. So a file is a location in a memory and this memory is not the uh, primary memory, it is the secondary memory. So whenever you write a pro program that is stored in the the variables are stored in the random access memory that is the primary memory and as soon as you uh, uh, you you know end the program you switch off your system the variables are lost but a file is a way of storing the values storing some data and variables permanently on a secondary storage device okay like a disk and this file generally has a name that is why we say that a file is a named location on a secondary storage. Secondary storage can be a disk, it can be any removable drive, removable uh, pen drives like that and anything which is not affected by uh, closing or opening of a program. So if you save a file in a secondary memory, the contents of the file will still be retained even if you close the program from which the file was written okay so the data in a file can be stored permanently unless you explicitly change the data you explicitly remove or add new data that data in the file will remain untouched okay so a file is a location it is a memory location that has a name and this memory location is present on a secondary storage and it is used to store data permanently so can it, so that that data can be used for future access or later access okay so these are the advantages of a file that i just mentioned it is used for permanent storage okay unlike program variables that have to be you know uh, created and uh, uh, assigned values every time you run a program Another advantage of a file is reusability. Once you have saved some data in a file, that data can be used again and again whenever required. Okay. And the third advantage is that storing data in a file avoids the repetitive tasks. And these tasks might include asking the user for the data every time and then storing them in program variables. So what you can do, you can ask the user once for the data, save it in a file and next time if that data is required again and you know the user will be entering the same data entered previously, you can directly retrieve that uh, data from the file in which you have stored it. So the advantages of a file include permanent storage on a secondary storage medium, reusability and avoidance of repetitive tasks. Okay. Now there are two major types of files that you can use. The first is the text file and the second is the binary file. So let's understand the difference between the two and what each of these files mean. So when we say text file, we are generally referring to a file that contains the data in a human readable format. Obviously when you open the file and view this file, any text file, you will see some human readable content written in uh, digits and characters that can be easily understood by humans. But obviously internally since uh, the computer only understands uh, language, uh, the binary language that is the language of zeros and ones. So internally these human readable characters will be stored in the form of ASCII bits. But when you open the text file using any text editor you will be able to see its contents and any human will be able to understand what is written in it okay and the examples of text files include any file ending or having a dot txt extension or any python file because the code that you write you can understand what you are writing what keywords you are using what commands you are giving 
then there is excel files or csv files word files anything that you can understand and you can open in any text editor suitable to that particular uh, content okay now the text editors what they actually do they retrieve the file and uh, they convert the ascii characters that are uh, present in those files that were internally stored in the computer and they convert these ascii characters into human understandable characters so this is the job why you this is the job of a text editor that is why for different types of text files you need different types of text editors or different types of applications that can correctly uh, render the program that you have actually written okay so text editors convert the ascii characters which were stored internally into the computer system into human understandable characters for displaying to its users okay now coming to binary files so binary files are stored in the form of zeros and ones zeros and ones refer to the bits now these bits do not form any kind of ascii characters in text file also internally the computer saved the text files in the form of bits but those bits were representing some ascii characters but in case of binary files the content is stored in the form of zeros and ones and even when you open these files you will see zeros and ones it is not human understandable so you can see that it is some something written in zeros and ones but you cannot make out what do they actually mean and that is why they we say that they are not human readable or human understandable and uh, they are very difficult to debug because the uh, user the programmer or the person who has written the binary file needs to know what they actually represent what the bits represent and not everyone can debug it find errors in it or correct it okay and definitely specific softwares are required to open a binary file as well just like text editors okay so this was all the basics of files what are files why do we need file types of files in the next video we will be understanding how to work with text files and how to open them read from them write them so stay tuned to our channel till we meet in the next video mind your exam